Joplin and Springfield, up to Sedalia and Columbia, we have wet weather, some lighter showers around Wichita. And then you get to the moderate to heavier rains, as we saw on radar around uh, the Columbia, South Carolina. You get up around Chattanooga and Crossville, Knoxville, some moderate rain showers with light rain back to Birmingham and Atlanta, down to Montgomery, Alabama. So uh, it's going to be a bit of a soggy time here. Here's where the upper low is, and let me get over here just so I don't obstruct any views here. But if you, if you watch, you can see the twist in the radar echoes here. There is your upper low, and you can see occasionally a few heavier showers here as you work towards Springfield and Joplin and on down towards Harrison and Fayetteville, Arkansas, and everything here lifting on towards the north. Quiet in the Great Lakes, no real big problem here. A little trough edging its way on through the northern high plains, and in the colder air, we do have some snow. Rapid City, Mo Bridge, and up towards Minot, North Dakota. Nothing heavy. But light snow, nonetheless, and we wish we were ta done talking about this, but unfortunately that's not the case. Then we can see as that system continues, another low, low pressure system here in Idaho, and some snow back across Billings and Butte and Bozeman, Montana, to Baker, Oregon, the killer bee sounds like, doesn't it? And then rain around the Dells, and then as you get into the San Francisco Bay Area, San Francisco, Oakland, uh, San Jose, the Monterey Peninsula, there's wet weather there, and as you can see, it's all working its way in towards Fresno and Sacramento and up to Reno and Blue Canyon. This moisture continues to work its way east while wrapping around the low, you can see these echoes working southeast at about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Now look at the numbers for you this morning. Not too bad until you get into the Northern Plains where Cutback is 5, Williston is 3, Denver's 34, LA 53, San Francisco is soggy 55. While out into the upper Midwest, we find Sioux Falls at 27, Minneapolis 26. It's 34 in Chicago, 28 in the best location in the nation, Cleveland, Ohio. While readings into Boston, again, temperatures at or below freezing, 27 Boston, 33 New York and Philly, 19 in Rochester, 17 in Albany, and we got winter storm watches out for southeastern New York State. And as we work into the deep south, it's 44 in damp in Atlanta, wet in Charleston and 50, 65 in Jacksonville. The Tournament Players Championship starts today up at Pon down at Ponte Vedra, 73 in Miami, but a chillier 40 in Dallas-Fort Worth. So there you have the big picture in one piece. Now Rick checks out your forecast. Thanks a lot, Bruce. We start with the uh, midday forecast map, and we see the widespread precipitation over the east as some of the uh, moisture works into colder air, some freezing rain, sleet, and snow is projected, particularly in the interior sections of Pennsylvania and uh, New Jersey, northwest New Jersey, let's say, and then New York City, the lower Hudson Valley, and southern New England tonight may see that, uh, see that wintry mix develop. Now, temperatures are marginal in here, so even where snow and sleet falls, it is not likely to accumulate on the roadways, except this morning in parts of, say, northwest Maryland, south central Pennsylvania. We'll watch it closely for you. Bruce mentioned the winter storm watch for the New York City area. That's for tonight and uh, early on Friday. High temps today, 30s and 40s. They'll be common. As we head south, overcast, occasional rain expected. Heaviest in Florida, up through the Carolinas and East Tennessee. Half an inch to an inch, 40s around Atlanta, but getting into the 70s near the Gulf Coast as the warm air works to the north. A little wet in Cincinnati today. Showers in St. Louis, also Nashville and Memphis. Uh, but Chicago and Detroit should stay on the dry side, and with at least a little dim sunshine, 40s are in the weather picture for you. Look at the 60s developing back around the front range, Denver and Fort Collins with 20s this afternoon near Bismarck and Fargo. Little change for Friday, the coldest air, North Central states, the warmest stuff in Texas. How about that 80s over West Texas after the freezing rain you had yesterday? So some big but typical springtime changes in the Lone Star State. Cold air comes a little bit farther south, but mainly affects the uh, Great Lakes and Northeast as we head through the weekend into the early part of next week. Early Friday could be some snow, Boston, Hartford, near New York City, possibly Trenton and Teterboro, perhaps a wintry mix as far west and south as the uh, Susquehanna Valley. Lingering rain showers, coastal Carolinas and Florida. Some light snow for the Dakotas, and that snow works in the Minnesota and northwest Wisconsin Saturday. By Sunday and Monday, things are fairly quiet. When the sun goes down, so does the oil. WKTO Weather Watch reports a possibility of snow today. Next time, check the Weather Channel for early warnings on weather conditions 24 hours a day. The Weather Channel. No place on Earth has better weather. And now, your local forecast. Accurate, up-to-date weather information for your neighborhood. Only on the Weather Channel.
Talking again, winter storm watch southeastern New York State. Into the uh, Poconos, the Catskills will see some snow up into the Berkshires, and we can see a swath of 6 to 12 inches of snow here overnight tonight and tomorrow, and some of that will spread up into the southern uh, portions of the New England mountains for later today. And then Saturday, looking good for skiing, but then as we see, the next batch of moisture starts sliding your way by Sunday. Now a few other resort reports. So easy to handle that weeding and cultivating, even in tight places, is a snap. And with the optional mantis attachments, you can dig furrows, trim hedges, aerate and detach your lawn, cut professional-looking borders, and remove weeds from cracks. Mantis's superior performance and rugged dependability is backed by a two-year warranty and a lifetime warranty on the tines against breakage. So you get years of trouble-free service. The Mantis Tiller is on sale, so call now for your free, no-obligation information pack with details on our one-year money-back guarantee. Call 1-800-511-5105 24 hours a day. That's 1-800-511-5105. Last leg of the business trip on tap for today, and then here comes the weekend. We'll let you know what to expect, and we do find some slowdowns around Hartsfield Airport in Atlanta, the reason being low clouds and wet weather, so check ahead with your air carrier. No other delays reported in the east despite wet weather. Those could be forthcoming in places like Charlotte or Charleston, uh, maybe even Miami a little bit later on today. Midsection of the country may see some slowdowns around Columbia, Missouri, Little Rock, Arkansas but none reported officially so far. And it's wet in San Francisco and the Sacramento Valley this morning, so that could cause some problems. Traveling on the highways now from the Ohio Valley back into the uh, mid-Mississippi Valley. Batch of moisture here. There's a whole lot of wet weather in the east. I-95 will be very, very soggy uh, from Florida all the way up towards the nation's capital and towards Philadelphia as we have wet weather here. And as far as thunderstorms, in the central Florida still, you might have to dodge a few of that. It's warm, moist, unstable, and we could see a few strong storms popping around Orlando and Tampa, maybe Fort Myers later on today. As far as the wintry travel, where is it snowy and icy? Well, you'll find that in the foothills of the Rockies and coming through the Rockies and the Sierra. 
And this will be developing later on this afternoon. There's nothing here right now, but as you get into Pennsylvania, you could see a little bit of sleet here and then a little bit of snow developing as we work through the day into the evening hours as we get some moisture moving in. Now, we've got a, a very wet spell that's been occurring in the Southland as we have low pressure area in the Gulf drawing in abundant tropical moisture and then the upper level disturbance in the southern branch of the jet slamming on through. And of course, as it works its way to the east, northeast has been spelling the wet weather here. And it's continuing to spread up right now to the mid-Atlantic states. And again, some potentially heavy rains are in the forecast here. Now, that's part of the story. What happens now is with this disturbance coming through the southeast today, strong southern branch of the jet providing that moisture up the coast, we're going to see another low developing here off the Carolina coast. So we've got cold, high pressure to the north. And this is going to be throwing some moisture back into the north. And with that wedge of cold air in, that could spell snow. So winter storm watches out southeastern New York uh, state, uh, including the New York City area and on through uh, Westchester. Now, that, as we get that system, it's going to be a fairly quick one. We now watch an upper trough, which is now on the west coast, bringing that wet weather. That eventually is going to be working east. And, of course, the moisture will start to return this weekend from the Gulf. And as that disturbance comes sliding on through, we're going to be seeing some showery weather once again through the south and the east as we head into the weekend and wrap up the month of March. And we'll see some wet weather. It should be ending west of the Mississippi by Sunday morning, but unfortunately Sunday looks a little damp in the east. Here are the major players now. We've got one batch of energy here and then the upper level low coming through here. And as it comes into cold air, we could once again see a little icy mix here in Pennsylvania later on today, changing over to a little bit of snow later in the day and on through the evening as the moisture flows in, the cold high pressure keeps the cold air in place. There's that next disturbance working its way on through the basin as we work towards this afternoon. Now, overnight tonight and tomorrow morning, moisture into cold air. We could see snow and anywhere from three to six inches of snow or more across the Big Apple. Now here's the situation once again with at least a half an inch to an inch of rain over portions of the mid-Atlantic. It's going to be soggy for sure. And again, the snowfall more significant around the Berkshires and back into the lower Hudson Valley. Again, six inches of snow not out of the question here. While with the system in the Rockies, we could see about three to six across the spine of the central Rockies. Temperatures remain cool, cloudy, damp here in the east, mild through the deep south and warm in the southwest. And then tomorrow morning, fairly mild in the southeast, but the trend will be for a slight cooling trend. Now, it'll warm up a bit here on Friday until that next system starts sliding through, and as it does towards the weekend, we'll see it cool temperatures a bit, especially in the upper Mississippi Valley and the lakes. The rest of the eastern and southern states will get chillier, but not bitterly cold. Now, this system will be a quick mover, fortunately. We will see the snow, however, tonight and into Friday, and then that'll skedaddle. And as we mentioned, towards Saturday and Sunday and the weekend, here comes the threat of showers and storms, maybe for the final round of the TPC. You've seen the hit series. Mississippi Valley region and as far north as southern Pennsylvania and southern New Jersey, a fairly steady rain. But later today, a threat of a little ice on the northern fringe of this precipitation. We'll be talking about that uh, as the hour unfolds. High pressure right now dominates uh, New England and much of New York. Light snow flying out through parts of the Dakotas, Montana and north central Wyoming, and a rain mountain snow mix from uh, western Nevada into California. Radar confirms some steady rain near Sacramento and Stockton, snowing up in the high Sierra this morning, above 6,000 feet heavy snow at times, by the way. And this is liquid precipitation, again, from Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Missouri to Virginia and the Carolinas. Some wet stuff now near D.C., 44. Partly cloudy skies, New York, 33. Mid-30s in Chicago. Low 30s in Denver. It's colder up towards Minneapolis, 24 degrees, and it's 54 right now in San Francisco. The coldest wind chills are out through Montana, some 10 to 15 degrees below zero. Stick around your local forecast and then much more at the bottom of the hour. Accurate, up-to-date weather information for your neighborhood. Only on the Weather Channel. News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Dave Frankel, Rick Williams, and Monica Malpass. 
Good morning. It is 5.30 on this Thursday, March 28th. Monica will be along later today. Flora Pastorero joins us. Good morning. Here's some, good morning. Good Here are morning. some of the stories we're following for you on Action News. A serious one-car crash shuts down a section of I-95 overnight in Delaware County. Lawmakers in Washington vote to ban a controversial form of abortion. And a fire means changes today for some Wilmington High School students. Thursday morning, and Dave Frankel is also off this morning, but Cecily Tynan is in. Good morning, Cecily. It's good not, morning. It's not going to be a good morning. <laughs> it's not. No, uh, we have a storm system moving our way. Kind of ironic, it's spring, but winter storm watches are in effect uh, basically north and west of Philadelphia. East and south, we have advisories in effect. Right now, partly cloudy skies in Philadelphia, 34. Some moisture is already beginning to work into Delaware, though. And today's exclusive AccuWeather forecast, we're talking about snow, ice and rain north and west of the city could get upwards of about two inches of snow so winter hangs on and we'll talk about what is coming up next in the AccuWeather five-day forecast all right we'll check in later cecily first in the news this morning las vegas developers well harry that passenger was a very lucky little boy lucky that this potential carjacking slash kidnapping ended just a few blocks from where it began she hugged her son tightly, thankful his ordeal only lasted minutes and didn't end in tragedy. Her black Mazda was stolen, with the boy in the back seat. It all started on Roosevelt Avenue. The woman parked her car at a bus stop, left the car running with her son inside, and ran across the street to get something to eat. The first officer on the scene says the mother was in a panic. She was very upset. Very upset. Did she know what had happened? Yeah, it's somebody had told her that somebody drove away with the car. She was, she was very upset. Luckily, the thief bailed out before kidnapping was added to his list of offenses. The car, left with its lights on and keys in the ignition, was found a half mile from where it disappeared. And unfortunately, it's cold enough as you get far enough northward that we are seeing some sleet, freezing rain, snow mixed in with the rain up into parts of West Virginia, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, on up to Pennsylvania. So folks across this region, back into the Ohio Valley, although not all of this is reaching the ground, do have to drive carefully. Some potentially heavy snows in the forecast across some sections of the west, perhaps as much as a foot in the northern Rockies and several inches across the Cascades in southern Oregon and uh, the northern Sierra Nevada in California and Nevada. Um, along with the uh, rain and snow out across the west, going to be very windy in some areas, too, which is going to aggravate all of this problem. We'll tell you more about it in a few minutes. All right. Thanks, Val. And it's now coming up to 23 minutes.